What's up everybody? Welcome back to Tech with Luke. I appreciate y'all tuning in for another episode today. What we got going on today is we got the Tobin Nun 4K dual display USB-C hub. This thing is really cool. I had a USB-C hub because, you know, with the, with the MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs, you get four USB-C plugs. Almost everything I got doesn't use USB-C. So it's almost imperative that you use a USB-C hub with your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air of these newer generations. So I had one, it worked okay, but I'm gonna show the differences between that one, which is basically just a flat little USB-C hub that did work. And then I'm gonna be showing you the Tobinun, Tobinun, however you pronounce it, USB-C hub. It's basically an all-in-one, looks great on the desk, You'll see the, the pros and cons of it, the pros and cons of the cheaper one that I got from Amazon. Both this and the cheaper USB-C hub are on Amazon. The affiliate links will be in the description below. You can make the decision which one you'd like, um, but appreciate y'all tuning in again. We got a really exciting episode. If you stay to the end, I'll give you my final thoughts and what you should do. Let's get to it. So the features it's got, is three and a half millimeter audio microphone jack, four USB-C, USB, excuse me, four USB-3 gigabyte, five gigabyte ports, one USB-C, five gigabyte port, two USB 2.0s, one VGA, no one really uses it a lot, but still got it, one HDMI 4K, 60 hertz, HDMI 2, resolution up to 4K, 60 hertz, two USB-Cs, that can be connected to the host through this cable in the back and an ethernet port, which, you know, does come in handy for a lot of people. This double USB-C plug-in right here, which is feels really quality. And it comes over here and plugs in right here to the two USB-C ports on your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air. That's why this specific USB-C hub is only for the MacBooks um, because it uses their alignments of their um, USB-C ports. All right, so what are the main differences between these two USB-C hubs? Both of these are available on Amazon. This one is about 60 bucks. This one is about $100. And Really the main difference is, is, as you can see, obviously there's much more ports. There's actually six USB ports on this, two here. I do believe these are both 3.0 USB ports. There's four USB port, four 3.0 USB ports here, and then two 2.0 USB ports here. There's one HDMI. The main difference of these two is this actually allows you to do a dual 4K display that you could have two dual, you could have two 4K monitors, external monitors coming from your MacBook Pro or Air going to two external monitors in 4K, which is, you know, a major thing most people want most days. This right here, you can only display to one external monitor. So if you're in the market for just two for a USB-C hub that can get it, get you to where you can have two 4K displays going on at the same time, then this is automatically out of the picture. If you're only looking for one, then I'd say both of these are worth it, but obviously this is $40 cheaper. Another big difference this has VGA, which again, a lot of people don't use it. Some people do still. This does not have VGA. One of the cons about this though, is it does not have a SD card slot like this one does. Even though this is $40 more expensive, it does not have an SD card slot, which obviously is okay. I have a USB-C uh, adapter that plugs in USB, plugs in SD cards, so I can just plug that in and then plug my SD card in. So it works, 
but it's another thing I have to bring instead of having this, which has it. It also has a micro SD card, which this, this has neither. All right, so you can have another attachment that goes into one of these, but so it really is, it depends on what your uses are and why you want this. If, if you're looking for just a USB-C hub, you can probably get away with this. If you're looking for one that has more ports, more, if you're looking for more USB-C port, USB, if you're looking for more USB ports, additional USB-C ports, an ethernet port, or maybe a VGA port, or you're looking to be able to do dual monitors, you are going to have to pass this up and go with this. If you are not looking for all that and you're just looking for a couple additional ports of USB and you're looking for one way to um, have an external monitor, this is a great choice. It's $60, still expensive for this kind of device, but it's more of an on the go, kind of go with you if you need it, and that's great. There is some that plug right into the side here, and I think that's probably a better travel option, but obviously, this worked for me. I've used it in many places. It still works great. But in the future, I'm gonna get another monitor. So it just made sense to me to get this. And like I said before, when you have this, this right here causes no, it's, it's just the weight of this small cord that goes to one, to the USB-C hub, one to the computer, and everything connects to here. Even your power to your computer connects right there, which is great. The difference in this, the power would go here, and you would connect this, and I would have all these wires connected to here, and then dangling down here, and yes, it works, but you have a lot of I don't like the down pressure here. It could, you know, create some instability in that USB-C port, and that's not what I'm looking to do. So, it's another reason why this is the winner for me. This also has no audio jack, as you can see here, this one does. So, really, it's going to depend on your needs. Are you going to need a VGA port? Are you gonna need dual displays? Are you gonna need an ethernet port? Then you're gonna to have to pass this up. If, if you don't need those things, downgrade to here. That's why I wanted to show this video. And so you can make a clear, dis clear decision on the USB-C hub that you need. This is how simple it is to hook up. Right here, this goes and is going to be connected to your MacBook right here. That simple. Bring these. This is for my monitor. This is for my keyboard. I got a Razer keyboard that I use for my, my MacBook Pro. Put that there. Bring my MacBook Pro cord. Hook that there, and that is all your wires. And the weight is coming down on this instead of your computer, which I think is much better, much safer for your computer in the long run for your ports. I don't think a lot of pressure pushing down there is going to be good for it. But. All right, y'all, appreciate y'all watching to the end of the video. So my final thoughts about the Tobin Nun USB-C hub is it's a definite buy if you need a 4K dual display USB-C hub. If that's what you're in the market for, it's 100% a buy. I haven't actually tested it because I don't have another 4K monitor. I only have my ultra wide 34 inch monitor, but I can almost assure you that it would work for your needs if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for a way to clean up your desk, and not have cords all hanging all over the place or not having your older USB-C hub sitting on the desk or pulling at your USB-C ports on your MacBook, 
then I'd highly suggest you looking into the Toba Nun USB-C hub from, on Amazon. It was a good purchase for me. I purchased it myself. This is not sponsored. They did not send it to me. I needed it and that's why I make these videos because if I'm looking for something and need something, I'm sure somebody else is and if I can make a video that helps you make a decision, then that's all I'm doing this for is to help. So. Again, I appreciate y'all watching so much. I got a ton more content coming in, coming in soon for y'all. Subscribe, like the video if you liked it.